Man, y'all want to know something crazy that probably most of us don't even think about. And this is probably in every city in America, any city, every city got a motherfucking ghetto. All right, so I was half asleep early this morning. I fell asleep with the TV on, and I, I was hearing this motherfucking infomercial thing. So I started recording some of this shit. Man, listen to the sick-ass shit that I'm hearing. Absolutely free. If you're tired of trading your time for money, if you've ever worried about retirement or want to get your money working for you, then pick up the phone right now and call 800-910-4603 or go online to freeokevent.com to get your free tickets. And just for registering, Finn will immediately send you a free digital copy of his money resource guide, which gives you the seven best sources you can use to invest in real estate with little or no money out of pocket on page six through the roof at that point it was just deal after deal after deal after deal currently we have five rental properties with high cash flow in one of my live training events you'll be learning from someone who is successfully doing this right now in today's market over the past 14 years i've done hundreds of real estate deals i've made money in both up and down markets because the systems i created allow me to get pretty predictable results at the event you'll learn how to fix and flip properties just like we do on our tv show for example this is one of the 29 properties i'm working on right now and here are the profits i've made just in the past few months alone on properties that i've rehabbed however a lot of people who fix up properties without a step-by-step -step system end up working way too hard and taking unnecessary risks the last thing you want to do is just wing it at the event, we reveal to you our hands-off system for rehabbing properties and how to get these properties fixed up without ever having to pick up a single paintbrush. Understand the power of financial education. However, if you sit around and wait, you're going to miss the absolute best window of opportunity to make money. You'll learn a step-by-step -step blueprint for flipping homes and buying and holding income properties that generate consistent cash flow earn a good income are out there working for money whereas people that are truly wealthy have learned how to get money working for them by acquiring assets that pay them each and every month whether they work or not well you do need money but the beautiful thing is it doesn't have to be your own money you see over the years i've discovered seven different sources of capital you can use to fund your deals and when you register for my free class i'm going to immediately send you a free digital copy of my money resource guide which reveals what these seven sources are that you can use to invest in real estate without using your own money. In fact, Sam just mentioned how he used one of the seven sources to make $25,000 on his first rehab. You'll also discover one source of capital I've consistently used to fund the majority of my deals throughout my career. I never knew there were so many ways to invest in real estate without using our own money. Today, we've done six deals and i've raised over a million dollars no matter what now pay attention we have depreciated the property values in the areas that we have called home for our childhoods and adulthoods or whatever from this probably 70s 80s 90s 2000s the ghettos look at what's happening it's probably happening all across america we done depreciated the property value so low, and we either get killed, go to jail, or we leave the ghetto. All that does is leave a enormous-ass window of opportunity for some of these motherfuckers who ain't even been in this community or been a part of this community. And half of these houses and shit was owned and paid for by motherfuckers' grandparents or parents, and then they die or something happened to them, and the, the, the kids get hold of the houses, and they don't pay the property tax. And the houses get took by the say, uh, by the city. So we done all the years of us killing and causing all this death and destruction with amongst ourselves. Guess who profiting off of all of this shit now? It's motherfuckers going in there, especially where I'm at. I'm on the north side of Tulsa. It's motherfuckers going there and buying houses for two thousand, three thousand dollars and shit in the ghetto because we done depreciated the value so much and we left. And now they get to come back in, buy the shit rent it out or flip it or whatever and they don't give a fuck about the community we gotta tighten the fuck up we gotta start taking the motherfucking communities back because what's gonna happen is niggas as a whole we ain't finna have shit in the next 20 or 30 years they buying up all the motherfucking houses you want this motherfucking house back you gonna have to rent it or you gonna have to pay 10 times as much 
is it was work. We spend all this money on dumb shit when we get our income tax and all that shit. And ain't none of us truly got nothing. We don't really own shit. Motherfucker go spend money on rims and TVs and jewelry and all that shit, but don't even own the motherfucking house you living in. You paying $10,000 a motherfucking year for some motherfucking, excuse my racism right now, but for some of these motherfucking white people who don't give a fuck about the community at all. Think about it. We get all this motherfucking money. Some of you motherfuckers get hella money in income tax. I'm talking about $10,000 and shit. Income tax. And we go spend it on dumbass material shit. But you renting the motherfucking house you living in. All right, so look, let's take this back to like 2011 or 12 when I had that, that shooting case thing. Uh, I bought this house, right? The dude I bought it from, this old white dude, Paid $2,500 for this motherfucking house at the little house auction thing. You know, because it's in the hood, you know, it's in the ghetto. It was an old dope house. I said, I already, I stayed on the street, so I already know what it was. But this motherfucker told me he had over 100 active Section 8 houses in this area. And over 200 that he was working on. 100 active houses on Section 8 at... Seven, eight hundred dollars a month times a hundred a month. Do y'all niggas realize how much that is? But at the same time, do you realize what that is? And I ain't gonna lie, even back then, shit, I think I was 22 or 23 when that shit was going on. Uh, I had money and I had credit. I could have moved my ass to the suburbs, you know. But I want to live in the ghetto, not for validation, because I grew up in the projects and we moved to the hoods and I've been there all my motherfucking life. I don't need validation just for living in the ghetto, but we can't keep abandoning the ghetto and expect that shit to still be there. I said, the ghetto don't have to be this fucked up ass place. It's just something that we own. But guess what? We ain't going to be owning shit in about 20, 30 more years. We keep getting killed, going to jail, and all these motherfucking white people. And I love my Hispanic community, but everybody else is being able to profit or benefit from all the dumb shit that we was doing, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. All the killing we was doing that depreciated and brought the value down, everybody else get to benefit from. And that's fucked up. But we got to tighten up on that shit because I love everybody in the lower class. I love all the niggas. I love all my Hispanic people. I even love the white trash because we all in the same motherfucking predicament. But niggas, we ain't going to have nothing. If we don't change something. And I said all that to bring in this next song, Stop Raping the Ghetto. Stop Raping the Ghetto.